G'day gamers, Aussie Wargamer here in Moree, Australia, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I want to share with you a bunch of legends, me hobby progress, and what I've been up to over the last couple of weeks. I'll be doing this every two or three weeks when I've got some stuff to show. So I've been working almost exclusively on me Nagash model over the last couple of weeks. I wanted him to be seated on a throne, riding into battle. So I got the throne and spirit cloud from the Coven Throne kit on a bit site and built a throne for him. When I cut, converted and dry fitted his legs on his torso to make him seated, I thought he looked pretty laid back, pretty chill like he was having a smoker or something. So I went with it and gave him a good book, like when you've got to go to war but halfway through a page turner. I built old Naggles himself separately, and after repositioning everything, I stuck it all together, except for the right arm and shoulder pad. Thinking about it, I should have left off his head and the book too, but you know, she'll be right. For his throne, I cut off the relic from its base and stuck a couple of skulls on to patch the hole in the throne, and threw some skulls on the base of the throne for the big man to rest his foot on. I then cut certain bits of Nagash's spirit hosts, assembling them in three separate sections. I put one of the books on the tail of the Coven Throne spirit cloud, and the rest more or less where they go normally. For his base, I got some old temple ruins I had lying around, and trimmed them down. I made some rubble with some scrap insulation foam, and the temple floor is milliput and a textured rolling pin from Green Stuff World, which does a cracker of a job. I made the stained glass by printing old stained glass images on an overhead transparency that I nicked from work. I painted up all the spirit stuff with my airbrush, picking out the shields and books and stuff with a regular brush. I thought I'd give a bit of object source lighting a go, which I've been wanting to try for a while. I used my airbrush to create a blue glow on the sides of the throne and the base. I think it came out all right although I could work a little more on getting a sharper contrast. When I assembled the spirits, once they were painted, I needed to do a bit of gap filling on some of the joints, which I then had to touch up. Still, easier than painting it assembled, I reckon. So now I just have to paint up Naggles himself and he's done. I don't normally paint to the box art, but for this one, I think I will. I really like the deep purple armour on him and the dark green sleeve seem to work all right. I hope to get it done in a couple of weeks, but we'll see how we go. As I said in my last video, I don't really like to rush me hobby. Well, that's all from me. Let me know what you've been working on in the comments. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned if you want to hear more of me voice. Catch you later.